Okay, everybody. Um, I just got bit by something. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. Just, um, I think somebody's vehicle might be getting towed over there. Anyway, just wanted to do my daily vlog for Veda. I have absolutely nothing to talk about today. I got up extremely late. Well, no, I got up early and got the grandbaby because she woke up. And then um, got her breakfast. I think that was 7, between 7 and 7.30. But I've been feeling like, ugh, all day. So, anyway, um, I took a nap. Like a really long nap this afternoon. But um, I'm still just feeling really, like, drained of all energy. So, I don't know. I don't think I'm coming down with something. I think it's a female hormonal thing going on. But, um yeah so I'm at the library in the gazebo again it's very breezy here it's nice and shady and a little breeze going um there were some teenagers over there but they are leaving now or just left anyway but uh, I forgot the bag on books to read to the baby so I have to definitely remember to do that tomorrow um Nothing else. Today's Monday. Oh, I talked with one of my aunts, and she is coming to the town that I'm in because the funny thing about the town that my son lives in is my grandmother is from this town. So it's almost like my son came full circle back to his roots. So it's just funny. He ended up here. So anyway, I have one great aunt who's still here. And, um,. I think some second and third cousins, but I've seen my great aunt a couple times. Um, so my my aunt, my mom's sister, who um, recently moved from Northern Virginia to a place about an hour and a half away from here, let me know yesterday as I was driving and traveling. We talked on the phone um, that she is coming here Thursday to see our aunt, and so she's going to come by and see us as well. Which is nice because I get to say, you know, bye to her because I haven't seen her in uh, over a year. So, yeah. It's so weird how that happens with family, you know. I remember growing up, our family was close. You know, we were, especially in the summer, we were doing a lot of different things and going to either my grandma's house or uh, each other's houses. You know, I saw my cousins all the time and... And um, it just wasn't like that. By the time my son came around, we weren't seeing each other for years at a time, even though we all lived basically within 30 minutes of each other. It would be years before seeing each other. It was like a funeral or something, you know? It's just a little upsetting. I mean, that my son didn't have that um, closeness with you know my cousins and stuff. So, it's sad. Because, you know, they would probably run into each other somewhere and not even know who each other were, just walk right past each other. But, anyway. Maybe it'll change. Maybe it'll change. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, I'm just being a lazy person again today. It's almost four. I'm just now doing the video and it's almost four in the evening so sad so ridiculous and the library closes at six today so I'm gonna go into the library and probably try and um, hopefully use one of their computers and get on Teespring the last two times I tried to get on Teespring I couldn't log in so I don't know what the deal is so I'm gonna try I don't really have any ideas for t-shirts I might just do some um, t-shirts with some quotes on them or something I do have one t-shirt that I owe a friend. I told her I would try and make her one with flamingos on it. So I'll see if I can do that. I really, really, really need a computer. Um, not only do I need a computer, I really want to buy a um, print shop as well. I need, a, I need a nice, well, not nice, but I need a decent laptop. And I need to buy the print shop 
either online or discs or something. I had it years ago when I when computers first kind of were new on the scene and people were starting to get them in their houses. I had a, um, a really old desktop that I got and um, I had like I had print shop the CDs I had like the five CD set and it was probably way way in the single digits of print shop probably like print shop four or five or something like that like way in the beginning of print shop I mean wait, was it print shop or Photoshop I don't remember what it's called anyway so and I would make different things and I made business cards for my mom and letterhead and stuff like that and I had this old um, printer you know those old um, dot <laughs> matrix printers with that long thing oh my gosh and you had to use the paper with the holes on the side and you had to tear the holes off the perforated little holes but that's how the machine fed through oh my gosh I remember that paper but anyway, so I used to do a lot of little um, designing type things, completely self-taught, just playing around on my little old com slow computer with the dial-up internet. Um, but yeah, so that'd be kind of cool to do. I mean, I know there's places like, what is it, uh, Vistaprint or whatever, you can get business cards and stuff done. I don't really want it for that. I want it for the design aspect of it and all the free clip art that you get to um, be able to upload my designs onto t-shirts because Teespring's clip art is pretty, um, you know, it's just very basic, very whatever, so anyway, um, yeah, you hear all the bugs? I guess, I don't know what those are, those cicadas? I remember when I was younger in, in, in I want to say it was either middle school or the beginning of high school, like maybe ninth grade of high school when the cicadas came and they were all over the ground. Like you were literally just crunching walking on cicadas because they were just, there was no way to avoid walking on cicadas. But they don't seem to be like that anymore. I guess maybe that's part of global warming maybe. But the last couple of times cicadas have come around, they weren't literally, literally littering the ground like they were when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was just wall-to-wall -wall cicadas on the ground, you know, outside, just nasty. I mean, they were flying on you, falling on you. I don't remember them being like that as an adult, so I don't, maybe that is a part of global warming, I don't know. I remember people used to hunt for a blue-eyed cicada. So ridiculous. Everybody thought they were going to get rich by finding one. And, and um, <laughs> that was hilarious. I got to find a blue eyed cicada. They're going to give us a million dollars. Okay. I wonder if there ever was such a thing as a blue eyed cicada. Maybe that was one of those urban legend type things. Who knows? Anywho. There's a cute little bird over there cleaning itself. The tree fell down. It's a little little tree, not like a huge tree. Anyway, um, so I'm gonna go because this video I'm just babbling about nothing. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get a video and there's just really nothing to talk about. Um, so today is Monday, which means in two days we have a What's Up Wednesday, and I have lots of questions this week. So I'm quite excited about that. So remember, if you have a question you want me to answer. Please go to last week's What's Up Wednesday and put your comment question there. A few people have been putting questions on different videos and that makes it very difficult for me to go back and find questions. So if you're one of those people and you know that you did not put your question on the What's Up Wednesday of last week, please go back, copy and paste your question and put it in last week's What's Up Wednesday video because that's the only place I will be pulling questions from. So please do that or else your question will not get answered. Sorry. It's just too difficult for me to go back on every single video and find a question to answer. So questions are be answered on the What's Up Wednesday video from last week. Those will be answered this Wednesday. 
So if you really, really want that question answered, please copy and paste it and put it in last week's video um, comment in the section. So I'm going to go. The train's going by. I don't think I've ever had, the, well, maybe I have had the train go by. I just didn't pay attention. So I'm going to go do what I got to do. Um, ooh, go to my Instagram and see the, um, the Mikado restaurant that I talked about in the video yesterday. I took a picture of the huge brownie sundae thing. I couldn't even finish it all. I mean, honestly, I couldn't even finish it all. But um, it's on my Instagram and you'll see it. I took a picture of it. Um, it's called Papa's Everything But the Kitchen Sink sundae or something like that oh my gosh that thing was so good it was like a brownie and there was ice cream hot fudge whipped cream crumbled up Reese cup so good mm -mm -mm. but it was really good i didn't even barely finish it all which was unfortunate because it was so delicious i really wanted to eat it all but um don't forget to give me a thumbs up comment accept the question go back to last week's what's up Wednesday put your question there and um, subscribe by all means subscribe and please share um, you never know somebody might be interested in van dwelling somebody might be interested in just hearing me ramble who knows share the videos I don't mind you sharing I love for you to share because that's pretty much what I'm doing this for I'm just sharing my journey and so the more people that know about my journey the better I appreciate that and in the description box, I will put some ways to support my channel. You may support me with Teespring by buying merchandise. You can become a patron. Or you can just buy a, a little bit of gas through PayPal. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow.